What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another video from the Scalar Learning Channel. And if you guys didn't know, now you know, I took the SAT, digital SAT, I should say, once again in June of this year. And guess what scores came out last week? I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but here is my score reveal. Now, just to give you a little bit of the backstory, I had to drive like 72 miles in order to take it because I registered eh, relatively late, closer to the deadline. And that just seems to be what's happening in Los Angeles as of late. If you don't register right away, you just have very slim picking. So the closest place I could find was 72 miles away. I got up and drove, it was like an hour and a half each way, Saturday morning in June uh, to go get this thing done. But I'm really glad I did it. It was Overall, a pretty good experience. Uh, a couple things I'll say before I do the score reveal. So one thing, it's it's very interesting, and, and I hope that the college board or the schools, or I don't know where the responsibility lies exactly, but I hope they give them a little bit of better instruction. So one of the things was when I went into the room and I was taking the test, the proctor in my room was like typing a bunch of emails. And the kids aren't going to say anything. You know, they're, they're intimidated. They, they don't know what they're allowed to say, what they're not allowed to say. But I don't care. So I called the proctor over and and I said, hey, do you think you could write, you know, do the typing later because it's a little bit distracting. And she nicely obliged. So to her credit, she did stop. But stuff like that, we had people coming into the room multiple times and having little whispering conversations. And they tried to do it at a low volume. It's very distracting. It's It was distracting to me. And the stakes aren't obviously whatsoever the same as they are for a lot of these poor high school kids. So I really think the, the schools that are administering the test or the college board or some combination thereof, they need to make sure the proctors are very respectful to the students. The, the stakes couldn't be higher. And these kids need to be at their best. So that was a little disappointing. But as I mentioned, to the proctor's credit, uh, they resolved that issue once I spoke up about it. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. We're going to find out. Three, two, one. Saturday, June 7th. Boom. We got the 800. Now, I did know this. This wasn't a actual score reveal because I actually checked the scores Friday morning, but I was uh, not around and not able to make the video. So it, it's not actually a live score reveal. I just couldn't wait. I just couldn't wait. I had to check it out. So anyways, I got these on Friday. It is now Wednesday, several days later, but we're going to jump in and check it out. Uh, as you may or may not know, there's not a ton of information on these score reports. We're going to just take a look and see what they do provide. One thing is that we just went to a conference where the college board was there, but I, I believe they did not say that they're, or I think they're thinking about updating the score reports at some point to actually be useful. Cause I got to say right now, these, uh, these score reports are, are not very useful. So we have the score of 1520, uh, 99th percentile, whatever, whatever. Hold on. Let's see if we can get a little bit more of the score details here. So yeah, there's my verbal score. Not bad for the verbals. One of my lower scores, but not bad. It was a very, 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 very difficult verbal section, at least for me anyways. Okay, so here's the math score. Let's see. This is not super helpful. Okay, we'll look at the math, and I think they give those little bars of like what you, and obviously for me, it's going to just all be maxed out. Although people often who don't get 800s, it's all maxed out, and you don't really get any valuable information. Here's the math. Yeah, so here's what I'm talking about. So algebra maxed out advanced math, whatever, whatever. It's pretty much a big nothing burger, I must say, in my opinion. But that's what the College Board gives us. That's what we got. And just want to show you that. Now, in terms of my broad strokes takeaway from taking the test, I definitely think there's, I mean, it's not like a huge surprise, not a huge revelation, but you got to drill down on those practice tests. I do believe there are more, there's more material that's going to be added to the digital SAT question bank. I don't know if it's this summer or how soon, but I believe that's what I've heard through the grapevine. So hopefully there'll be more questions up there that you can practice soon. Well, yeah, it, it was what I expected, which is good news. We want to be, we want to feel like all those practice materials that we can utilize from the college board are going to prepare us well. I believe they do. And that's it. We got the 800. A couple of quick things as well. Uh, I've talked about this many times. I used every ounce of my time pretty much. I think on mod one, I had so much extra time that I, I reviewed everything like three times. And then I said, okay, that enough is enough. For mod two, I did my best, but it was, it was pretty difficult. So I had some time to review, but I couldn't review even the entire mod two. So I was a little unsure. Maybe I made a mistake or two. 
because as you may have seen last time I did a live score reveal, I got a 790. Didn't pull off the perfect 800. So we got, we're back in the win column. We got the 800, and it is what it is. Last but not least, let me mention SAT Crash Course. You see that logo. Uh, where is it? Nope, other side. It's over here. Okay, so you see SAT Crash Course. That is what I use with all of my students. I've obviously partnered with them as well. You can see my video explanations up on their available test. So if you purchase the 10 practice tests for every one of those available tests, you can click every question on the math section and watch a video from me explaining it the way that I do. And if you are a fan of this channel, you'll hopefully like my explanations. It'll be a killer combination and you will rock out as well when you take this test. That's it. That's all I got for you. Thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.